So, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things that I want to go through. Uh, I came into a problem last class period when we were talking about parallel lines. And so one thing I want to do is just kind of review. Jake, yeah, let's definitely go and move over to that other seat. Um, what I wanted to do was just to go over and review some of our major angles that we've had that we've talked about. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we have two lines and a transversal, that means a line that is intersecting All right, so just draw all four of them. I'm going to give you an example because we need to make sure we have an example of each four of these systems. All right? So you guys, I'm going to keep on spitting out these definitions. I need you guys to know what each one of these look like. So the first one, let's deal with the interior. Alternate interior. Right? Alternate interior angles, again, ladies and gentlemen, are when you have angles that are both interior all right, and they alternate on the side of the transversal. Okay, That's an example of alternate interior angles. Then let's do alternate exterior. So alternate exterior is going to be the exact same representation. You have lines that are on opposite sides of the transversal, the line that's intersecting your two lines. But now, these two angles um, are going to be on the exterior. They're going to be outside your two lines. And obviously, I know we've talked more about parallel lines, and we're going to get more talking about parallel lines today. Um, the next one. So. That's alternate interior, alternate exterior. The next one is consecutive interior. So consecutive interior is when you have two angles that are interior, but they're consecutive. They're one right after another. They're right next to each other. Do you guys see how consecutive interior and alternate interior differ? Right Here, they're on opposite sides of the transversal. Here, they're on the same side. These are interior. These are interior. Okay. And then the last one is what we have was corresponding angles. So remember, corresponding angles is one is interior, one is exterior, and they're in the exact same position as the other angle. Okay. Do you guys see how y is interior, x is considered exterior? But both of these, if I was going to kind of take a little snapshot of a grid, both of them are in the lower left-hand corner. So corresponding angles are in the same position of an intersection where one is interior, one is exterior. You guys have to remember each one of those relationships. 